more news stories for you. A few updates from Sudan, where Al Jazeera office has been closed down. Secondly, Sudan Egypt border is also closed. Uh, some protesters have blocked this important border area. Uh, secondly, viewers, a TDF fighter who uh, has been updating us about TDF positions, TDF gains, has appeared once again today. He's called Selfie Man. He has shared his pictures from a place. Uh, thirdly, no more movement has released a statement against the release of TPLF leaders like Sabbath Naga and others. Uh, and lastly, words, uh, two days ago, I told you that Fano was planning uh, an inauguration ceremony in South Volo Zone in Dasi. While Dasi Zonal Administrator uh, had issued a statement calling Fano a threat to South Volo. Today is Sunday. Uh, today, the ceremony of inauguration was due to be held. What happened? Was it allowed to uh, organize the ceremony? We have uh, some pictures, some updates for you. Firstly, we are Sudan, where Al Jazeera news channel Al Jazeera Mubashir has been closed down. Sudanese authorities uh, have revoked the license of Al Jazeera. They have revoked the license of Al Jazeera correspondent to Muhammad Umar. Sudanese government is accusing Al Jazeera of working against Sudan's national security. Second update is from Sudan Egypt border, which is closed. Reportedly, protesters have closed this border. They are accusing Egypt of backing Al Burhan, Sudanese army chief. The border is closed. Long lines of vehicles can be seen in this border area. Tensions are running high. Protests are continuing. Uh, negotiations are underway. United Nations mission. Uh, which is monitoring uh, transition in Sudan, is trying to form an agenda for all parties to start talks. But unrest is still there. It is uh, engulfing entire Sudan. Second update is uh, about a TDF fighter. His name is Gabriel Gebru. He shares his pictures from different locations. He updates about TDF gains in Amhara region. He kept on updating about battlefield situation. Uh, then it was claimed that he had been arrested, that he had been killed. Once again, he appeared. Then he disappeared for several days. And now, once again, he has shared his pictures. You can see his pictures. He is Gabriel Gebru. He has shared some pictures. Where is he? Some say that this time he is uh, in southern Tigray. Waja Timoga Front is the place from where he is sharing his pictures at this time. Thirdly, words, no more movement uh, has issued a statement. No more movement has condemned the release of TPLF leaders. It has condemned the release of Sabbath Naga. The movement says that uh, once again, US is trying to put pressure upon Ethiopian government and US wants some concessions for Tigray People Liberation Front. And Ethiopian government must not give these concessions to US government. No more movement says that Ethiopia is talking to the US from a position of strength as US foreign policy in the Horn of Africa has failed. That is why Ethiopia should not give any concessions to the US government and the leaders, TPR leaders should not have been released. Now, Ethiopian PM Abi is in a fix, viewers. Uh, he, uh, how can he start talks with TPLF? His decision to release uh, TPLF leaders uh, 
did not go well with some groups in Amhara region, with uh, some Amhara diaspora members. How can he announce the start of talks with Tigray government? It's very difficult for PM Abi because he is definitely under pressure from Amhara, some sections in Amhara government and uh, diaspora members. And that is why the statement has been released. It's a way of putting pressure upon PM Abi that he should not to announce any talks with Tigray Population Fund. How will this conflict come to an end if there, if there are no talks? Uh, Ethiopian government is not entering Tigray militarily. Fighting is going on in border areas only. So it's not entering Tigray. At the same time, it's not talking to TPLF, but it's uh, continuing its dawn strikes. How will uh, this conflict come to an end? The government might be hoping that there could be some change from within Tigray, that some uh, uprising uh, could uh, force TPLF to surrender. It does not seem uh, to be possible. There are no signs that a massive uprising could force TPLF to surrender. So, so far, there is no clear uh, picture that we are seeing about the future of this conflict. Uh, lastly, viewers, uh, three days ago, I told you that uh, Fano was planning uh, an inauguration ceremony in South Volo. And I shared with you a statement of South Volo Zone Administrator Abdul uh, Muhammad, who had said that Fano was a threat to South Volo. What happened after that? Because Fano was planning uh, inauguration ceremony on Sunday. Today is Sunday. You can see some pictures on your screen. The pictures are from a stadium in Dasi. Fano did organize its uh, uh, inauguration ceremony in Dasi today. Uh, South Volo Zone officials, DASI government did not uh, try to stop Fano from uh, organizing uh, this ceremony. We have seen some meetings between Fano leaders and Amhara regional government. Amhara government backed Fano. Amhara government said that it would not disarm Fano. So Fano is now in South Volo 2. It's spreading its influence here. It's increasing uh, the number of its recruits. Uh, earlier, we saw pictures of new Fano members in North Shua Zone of Amhara region. In Gojam, they were stopped uh, from uh, conducting some training activities. But in South Volo, uh, Fano militia members were allowed to conduct their uh, training and passing out activities in Dasi city today. Thank you for watching.